Hello everybody, today I am sharing my easy jerk chicken recipe. Let's get started. I have my washed chicken. Uh, please make sure you wash your chicken. I hear people talk about not, you know, washing meat and I think it's absolutely disgusting. I don't know where my meat came from. So yes, I wash my meat very well and then I throw on the seasoning. Guess what? My seasoning comes from a bottle. Uh, this is my all-time favorite jerk seasoning. I make it myself sometimes, but for the most part, I just use this seasoning. It's the Walker's Wood. I'm not sure how I stumbled on this jerk chicken uh, seasoning, but it's absolutely my favorite. Um, I get it from the African store, but I'm positive you can pick this up at any local grocery store. If not at any local grocery store, um, try a Walmart or a Maya if you live in Chicago. So I'm going to just, you know, pour the quantity that I need on my chicken. I usually put a lot just because I love the seasoning and I want my meat to be well marinated um, in the juices. Okay, let your chicken marinate for a little bit. Um, if you have just, you know, a couple of minutes, fine. Let it sit down for about 10, 15 minutes. If you have a lot of time, put it into the refrigerator overnight. Oh my goodness. It's going to soak up the juices and you will absolutely love the results. Our chicken is all marinated and we are going to throw it into a conventional oven to bake it. Listen, guys, this is one of the best purchases I've made in my life, honestly. Well, because I love food. I got this off of Amazon for $20, and I'm going to tag it um, below um, in the information section. So definitely check it out. But yes, I love, love, love this tool. It is one of the best tools I have in my kitchen, and it just whips up food um, in just a couple of minutes minutes it's way faster than the original um the you know the regular oven so i absolutely love it throw everything in there i'm throwing the juices in there as well because i'm all about the taste so let's get that in there we are going to bake this at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes in between the time I am going to, you know, check on my chicken and turn it over just to make sure it browns on both sides. It's been about 30 minutes. Let's check on our chicken. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Just look at that deliciousness. Um, I'm ready to dig into this. But before then, I'm going to turn this over and just make sure that it browns on both sides, okay? And there you have it. This is our finished product, and we paired it with some fried rice. You can find the recipe for my fried rice in my previous video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, like, share, and tune in for more videos.